want to hear your voice. They're going to want to hear how you sound to see if you okay. All right. All right, y'all. Well, I think now I just over uh, here just uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm finna get off though, y'all. I was just on here making noise, making little chat, making little chat. Um, but things I'm praying for things to go better. I'm praying for God to put some new friends in my life, some friends who don't mind coming out. Who don't mind, you know, picking up the phone and talking, you know. Even, and you ain't even got to be talking about the situations that's going on, but just life in general. Like, how you doing for real, for real? You know, people in general it, who don't mind coming out and, you know, having a good time with you and, you know, going out and just having a nice day. You know, people need to get back to just having a nice day. Some things need to go back old school, traditional, because I remember when I was growing up, my mom and daddy, they always had company coming to the house, and they sit out there on the porch and talk and laugh. It won't no cell phones and stuff. My daddy and mom was married 65 years. It won't no cell phones and stuff. They weren't jealous of each other, so they was able to have women and men company. They just have company, sit out there, eat and laugh. And when the company get tired, guess what? They leave. <laughs> but they kept it real. It was it wasn't any of this virtual stuff where you got to figure out people, you know, and f- figure out who's really on, on your side and who's just commenting just to be commenting, you know. It wasn't none of that. It was real, genuine friendship. Now, I can understand those of them, you know, that are, are long distance, long distance. But there's some people in our lives that ain't long distance and still won't come see about you. But they holiday your friend. So that's what I'm basically up saying. And why I'm saying I want to delete some of them apps because I'm, I'm just tired of um, taking in too many virtual friends right now. Is there such thing as having too many virtual friends where they just aggravate you? Because that's kind of where I'm at. Like, I'm aggravated with it. I'm aggravated with it. And and maybe it's just me tonight. I mean, maybe it's because I just woke up and happened to look and I have all these notifications and stuff. It just irritated me. But I am going to delete some apps because I don't think I need those apps. I don't need dating apps and stuff like that. Dating apps or friendship apps. I don't need that kind of stuff right now. I need I need real people in my life. I don't, I don't need people that's, you know, just going to be in and out. In and out of my life, you can't get running. In and out of my life. Okay, so I always say I'm finna go and then I think of something else to say. Life of a, a mouthy woman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm getting my stuff together so I can get in this house and I hope y'all have a beautiful, wonderful. I have, hope you have a beautiful, wonderful night and, you know, actually pick up that phone and call her or him or call your friend. Instead of, you know, letting them just try to figure out who you are or try to figure out if anybody cares about them. Pick up that phone and call your friend. You hear me? Call your friend. Go visit your friends. If you really care about them, go do that. Especially if they're nearby. I can understand if they're like two hours out or something like that and you can't always see each other. Because my daddy and mama, their friends didn't always come, you know, just every day. It might have been like once a month, but when they came, they had a ball. So get in contact with your friends. If you say you their, you their friends, do the right thing. Go get them up out of their depression. That inboxing and, and stuff, it ain't getting it. Go move a mountain. Faith Without Works is dead. Go move a mountain. Go say, come on, let's go. Get your clothes on. Give them a time. Tell them you ain't going to take no for an answer. (laughs) All right, y'all. Let me get my butt up off in here. 
All right, y'all have a blessed one, though.